my name is Fila Beck, and you are the from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And uh, uh, the new issue of Doctor Who magazine just came out today. And uh, as is my want on, on on the channel, I do I do have a virtual thumb through with you. Uh, see if it's worth your time, worth your money. Normally it's not. <laughs> Normally it's not. Oh man, I love Doctor Who magazine. I've been reading it. Well, yeah. Let me move my chair. Let me move my chair in this direction. You can see it. Right, yeah, okay, you can see a bit. So down here, there's Doctor Who magazine, right? That's the right, where it went monthly. Uh, this Doctor Who magazine, this is all Doctor Who magazine. Uh, up here is where it hit issue 500, where it went, where, where I went digital. And it was I, honestly, I, I, I think the quality had just dipped down around then, not quite as much as it did down uh, in the last few years. Um, so we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna do a virtue thumb through of it so you can decide. Uh, uh, while you're locked down, is it worth you buying a digital copy? Probably not. Probably not is the answer. Uh, I, I haven't read it yet, so I can't do a real review. Uh, before we get there, can you hit the like button? That will be great. You know, I have to say, even if you dislike it, even if you dislike it, I don't mind you lying. I don't. I really don't. You can pretend you like it. Hit the like button. That's great. Uh, can you hit hit the share button? That'll be freaking crazy. Thank you very much. Uh, can you hit the subscribe button? That, uh, you know, how, how do you make a rabbi's nipples tingle? Oh, you hit the subscribe button, right? And I, I, I have to tell you, I have to tell you, you probably woke up this morning th not thinking, how am I going to make a rabbi's nipples tingle, right? How am I going to do that? You probably didn't think that. Uh, uh, but now I give them the opportunity. All you got to do, hit the subscribe button. And another little bonus. So in the subscribe button, uh, you can uh, uh, enter my weekly competitions. Good prize this week. Uh, Judge Dread, The Complete Case Files, Volume 10. Look how thick that is. Never mind the quality. Fill the width. Well, the quality, pretty darn spanky good too. Uh, lots and lots of very good shortish stories uh, from 87. Great artwork from Gary Leach, Steve Dillon. Uh, Cam Kennedy, Kevin, just fantastic stuff. All you need to do to win it, subscribe to the channel, subscribe, and in the comments leave the hashtag Azarjas. Go check the video notes, it'll tell you everything you need to know. Uh, uh, also in the video notes is this, uh, a link to my Indiegogo. I have these two graphic novels over here. Uh, I hopefully will be launching in the next couple of weeks. I've got to get a videos done for it. I've got to get, uh, uh, I've I got to work out shipping. That's really the big thing. I've got to work out shipping. I want to try and get uh, international shipping much lower. I think I've got an idea of how I can do that. Uh, if you uh, if you if you add your email uh, address and you buy, make any purchase, you get one of these uh, fantastic, fantastic uh, uh, art cards. Uh, uh, somewhat pervy, somewhat pervy. As you know, because I'm a bit I'm a bit bit of a dirty pervy guy. Uh, I you know, listen. I can, but I'm also an honest guy. I can't pretend I'm not. So yeah, you know, add your email address to the uh, uh, click the link. Add your e uh, 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 email address. I will keep you abreast of all the information, uh, which might have to do with, with, with a lot of breasts, by the way, <laughs> as, as, as does often happen. Fine, so let's look at Doctor Who magazine. Doink. Uh, I am the master and you will obey me. This is a nice cover, I have to say. Firstly, it's a nice cover. It looks like they got, uh, I'm a graphic designer, so I, I, it looks like they had access to the uh, uh, original graphic design files for the season eight box set, which I am very much looking forward to. Um, and they they, they they use the they, they you put the master in there. Good cover, good cover. Uh, uh, no Jody inside, no Jody inside. Bit too much Sasha the One. Sasha the One is the, in my opinion, the most kosher element of the current era of Doctor Who, uh, because um, like like he, he, he I I didn't really like his episodes. Don't be wrong. Uh, I liked his enthusiasm. I liked him a lot, and I would like to see what he would do with a. Uh, with a better script, you know, a better showrunner uh, and a better doctor, right? So let's have a look through it. It's going to be talking a lot about them. 50 years of the master. You will obey me. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. This is probably the last image of Atlee Ainley playing the, playing the master. It must have this on YouTube somewhere. There was a game called... Um, Destiny of the Doctors. It, it, it was about the same uh, 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 quality as the recent Daleks... Uh, uh, YouTube uh, show, which was freaking awful, absolutely awful, uh, uh, just terrible. But you had these video inserts in it with Anthony Ainley uh, playing the master, uh, and I think he did he did quite quite you know quite a good job uh, job with that. I liked his uh, his costume. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, I don't. It must be talking about the master. You will obey me. Uh, yeah, this is not exactly news, is it? That that uh, David Tennant and. Uh, 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 Peter Davison are doing an audio together. Really? That's not news. That came out, what, six months ago? Uh, we knew about that. Uh, a bunch of, like, really... Oh, I wonder if they're going to be able to sell these. 
these vinyl figures, these, these like these metal pens. I, I guess they're not too expensive. This was garbage, hot, hot garbage. The uh, Daleks uh, uh, YouTube show, absolutely terrible. Uh, oh, what they got coming out this year? Uh, let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. Uh, the um, Hand of Fear, read by uh, Pamela Seymour. Okay, good. Second, uh, second Monsters collection. Uh, okay, so they re-release a bunch of stuff. Um, the Savages, who are they? they got Carnival Monsters by Kenny Manning, Santana Experiment by John Colshaw. I am listening to uh, Terror of the Master right now on the on the Masterful box set uh, with John Colshaw uh, reading it. Freaking awesome! Absolutely awesome. Uh, but anyway, this, this is just re-release. The Savages is going to be read by Peter Purvis. The Kiros Ring. I've never heard of that. Uh, audio, uh, original audio, uh, uh, audio original by Stephen Gallagher, read by Stephen Pacey. Romano takes a day in Stephen Pacey, he's played Tarrant in uh, Blake 7. He does a lot of uh, 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 audio work. Uh, Romano takes a dangerous mission uh, with Laszlo in the sequel to uh, 19 Hours Warriors Gate. Yeah, now I'll give that one a miss. Witch Finders, uh, Target Book by Jay Wilkinson, read by Sophie Orin, now I'll give that a miss. Uh, Dalek Target Book, what is that? Uh, Dalek, a uh, target book written by uh, Robert Shimon, by, read by Nick Briggs. That's probably pretty good. Crimson Horror, uh, Mark Gaddis, read by uh, Catherine Stewart and Dan Stein. I don't know who Catherine Stewart is. I, I feel like I should do. Uh, Gary Russell, uh, a novelization of the Paul McGann movie, read by Dan Starkey. Then in April, we've got Time Flight. I thought they had that already out already, by, uh, read by Peter Davison. The Planet of Dust and other stories, a new collection from the annuals. I like these ones, by the of the 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 uh, the the, the annual the when they do audio versions of the annual story. The Dark one was very good. Uh, read by Jeffrey Beavers, very good. John Carshaw, uh, Louis James, and uh, John Leeson, Terry Malloy. Okay, all that sounds good. Underworld, really? Who's reading it? Uh, Louis James, okay, and John Leeson. Lost TV episodes. Yeah, no, I got them. Uh, it's not, nothing new. Ark of Infinity, read by Jeffrey Beavers. Ah, a reasonably good choice. Nightmare Realm, uh, audio written by Jonathan Morris, read by Dan Starkey. Twelfth Doctor and Nardo. Ah, right on straight. Like, you know what? That That's actually, uh, that's tempting me. So there you go, but I probably won't get them. This looks good as well. Okay, so this looks good until I get to this. Like, here's the thing. One drop of the current era uh, alienates a large section of your audience. And I'm sorry, just so some people won't, won't, won't buy anything even with the, the, the logo on it, right? Uh, and it's just the way it is because it's been so bad. It's been so bad. Most people don't think of it as Doctor Who. Well, I've done it. Not most people. I, I, most people who, who, who like this channel don't think of it as, uh, 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 as Doctor Who. Uh, and they find it being brought in uh, just annoying. And, and de instead of legitimizing it, which is what it's always brought in for, it delegitimizes whatever it's brought into. Um, okay, so people, Gallifrey and Guardian. Not Gallifrey, uh, Gallifrey and uh, Ga Galaxy Forum, whatever they want to call it. Uh, oh, yeah, some nice artwork. Tell you, look, you can see how many pages they, 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 they like. They, this is the trouble with Doctor Who magazine right now. It is just desperate to try and fill space, and it dies horribly. It's only 85 pages long. Um, other people, are actors uh, who are in Doctor Who also act in other things. So there you go. Incredible, but true. Um, and two pages, know, this month, uh, in 96. So there, yeah, I remember when Paul McGann was announced. Uh, they were talking about David Hasselhoff being the Doctor. Uh, uh, Ghost of End Space. Okay, a bit of nostalgia for me there. I, I would read that. So this is a long article. And I think, I think look, this, this is a long, I would say, interesting article until I saw who it was written by. Ben, Benjamin Cook. Ben Cook is a, uh, a massive douchebag. Massive, massive douchebag on Twitter who spends his days looking to call other people uh, racist and uh, and sexist and say they're and like just uh, mic drops and just he's just an idiot and, and that's the thing everything he's just so bad at. If you go and look at my Twitter, I pinned a tweet from when I when I broke him one time. <laughs> so he he, I, he was just on my timeline. And he says um, he was talking about. Uh, it, be, trans things are always important to these crazies, right? There's, it's very, very important to them. And it's like, why, why would any woman object to a, object to a trans woman in, uh, in, in a gym for, or something like that? And I said, well, I can't speak for women, but I think some women find uh, 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 women with penises uh, an invasion of their privacy. Some bit, not all women, some people find them an uh, um That's just the way they feel. So that made him crazy. That made him go crazy! Because now he's being mean to it. So he's got this 
massive. He's a very talented guy, by the way. He's smart and talented guy. Uh, 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 but just a massive douchebag who's wasted his entire life doing nothing. He's nearly 40. Right, when he was 19, this was cool. But he's nearly 40 now. And uh, again, he just attacks fandom. He's a big, like, not my doctor type person who is a, uh, if you don't know, it's a Twitter hate group. Uh, designed to like uh, lambast anybody was saying, oh, I, I don't, I didn't like the, the, the last episode or two. So anyway, so Rossley Davis has a new show out and uh, it, they recreate a section from uh, Resurrection of the Daleks in it. Uh, relatively interesting. Um, listen, I, I always watch anything that Russell D. Davis makes and I'll read it, but look how many play pages in. You got one, two, three, uh, four, and it's still going. Five. Okay, so that's a five-page article on, on what's essentially the same as when they uh, put a, 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 a. It looks like they put a canine in queer as folk, right? It's a five-page article out of an eighty-five-page uh, periodical, mostly uh, ad. Not really good, but it goes more than that. You have more. So then you got, got another bio. And this this was, this was pretty good. Um, <laughs> if you look at the, the River Song and Tenth Doctor box set, uh, I really enjoyed. I I, I thought that they they were all all good. It was an uh, added uh, uh, chapter in Doctor Who that I didn't know I wanted or needed, but I do recommend that. That was good. So, but so anyway, so if, if so, Benjamin Cook said more, more, more Benjamin Cook. He's interviewing somebody on set there. Uh, uh, yeah, if you're somebody who uh, who hasn't been lambasted and attacked by this asshole, uh, uh, yeah, you should be fine. I, I think this is enough to stop a lot of people buying it right here. So, but like, what was it six, seven? Eight, oh, so now at least we've got a, like a, uh, a vintage shoot. Eight, nine, ten. And again, this interview is the bloke who had his felt face melted. This guy. Uh, I, like, I, like you, what? You couldn't do, do do that woman? Like, you know, you couldn't do the very, very attractive woman. No, you've got to do the, fa fa uh, the, the face melty guy. Okay. I want to know what she's doing in life. Okay. This is the one that interests me. Not so much this bloke. Okay. Well, whatever. Whatever. So more of that. So how many bloody pages? Let me do, do a, a page overview. Uh, how many pages was this? You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pages over ten percent of the magazine uh, goes to that. And then you got uh, some more ads. Uh, gee, they should uh, as they're in lockdown again. Maybe they should work out a virtual home experience. Yeah, maybe, maybe. And then I would do this as well. Uh, you know, assuming it's not current era. So now, finally, we get to an article that I'm vaguely interested in. This is an extra uh, for the upcoming season uh, season eight box set about the demons, uh, about filming an extra for it. But honestly, I, I'm kind of happy just watching the extra. I don't need to read the article about making the extra. Just I, I watch the documentary, but I don't need the documentary about the documentary, right? And this goes on for quite a number of pages. Um, okay, so now we get to something kind of stupid. Um, the World Cup of Master and Missy stories. 32 different Master and Missy uh, schemes, but only one can be the best. So I just, I just find this whole World Cup thing a little bit stupid. Like, just a little bit stupid. When, you, But okay, fine. Uh, it's okay for a, uh, was it a throwaway piece. But again, look how many bloody pages they put into this. It is. This goes on freaking forever. One, two, three, uh, four. That's four, five, six. Uh, seven, eight, nine. Like okay, another like another what nine, ten page article. Oh, not saying it should have been a two page bit of fluff, right? It shouldn't have been. It shouldn't have gone on and on and on and on and on forever. Uh, and they, I guess this is the conclusion of the winner. Good look, good choice. I, I, this is one of my favorite master stories. But is it better than the uh, Delgado story? I don't know. I think Terribly Autumn's pretty. <laughs> it's still one, one of the best. Uh, the original master plan, a uh, combination of time and constraints and human error, comprised Roger Degarda's uh, final appearance as the master, uh, uh, unravels of complex history. Okay, well, that seems like a reasonably interesting... And finally, okay, this is a reasonably interesting article. This is something I would read while having, uh, by having a crap. See, and three pages. Three pages. This is normal. You know, okay, yeah, get the title page. But three pages, that's about, you know, that's about what the last article should, should have been. Uh, Sasha, again, I liked your enthusiasm, Sasha. I did. I liked it, but everything connected with the current era uh, taints it, right? So ugh, this makes it so I'm not really that interested. Uh, more interested in adventure in time and space when, when, you, when you're in that. Not uh, uh, the time with Jody. Oh, he likes uh, Hook, apparently. Okay, it's nice. And I no idea what that's about. 
uh, oh, what a shock! He's he he, he likes the the, the Obamas. Uh, you know who 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 would have thought? And he has a doggy. Okay, it's nice. Uh, okay, this is embarrassing. They should not be doing a comic strip. If they're going to be doing like this level quality artwork. So Scott Gray's doing the story and the art. Um, obviously, in a in a in a money saving gesture. Uh, but really, this is garbage. This is hot garbage. But listen, they do have uh, Jody's uh, idiot condescending expression down quite well. Uh, I did a, a video on a, on a, a Guardian article ripping the current era to shreds, and they said uh, Jody Whittaker has basically two types of personality, two types of way of playing a scene. Either as a, either a chirpy uh, blue peach presenter, or a sad little lost girl who's lost her, her was it her dolly. Or like po face pompous. So basically, that's basically who you get, right? Uh, this is just embarrassingly bad. This is below professional quality. This should not be happening. <laughs> I mean, really? I'm supposed to believe that, really? This does not seem very hopeful, which is what they call Jody. Uh, God, this is garbage. This is beyond garbage. I, I, I it, it, again. Run an archive piece rather than this garbage. It's getting worse. It just gets like, I don't know what you're thinking. Don't know what you're thinking. There's so many indie creators who could have done a better job for that for the budget you have than you have. Fact of fiction, curse of the fatal death, really? Uh, okay, it, it may be. Um, I, okay, I kind of, again, this was a skit. This is kind of a throwaway skit. Uh, um, what, I, Okay, uh, it doesn't seem to be anything anybody could possibly be interested in. Maybe because they had uh, the the doctor regenerate into a woman, but they said it was a big deal at the time, right? Uh, well, now they say no, it's perfectly normal. Uh, oh, this I'll, I'll probably do on a live stream. I'll read their review of uh, Revolution of the Dalek. Uh, which, uh, still, I love it that she got it wrong. I love that she got it wrong, and it just shows. Uh, uh, what insane Karen. <laughs> Jodie Whittaker is no understanding for Doctor Who. So yeah, if I do my live streams now, which I probably am, I am reading this. That, that looks funny. Uh, ge Genetics of the Daleks uh, review. Oh, I just found it boring. Really? I found, found that a real slog to get through. Again, Master of All, really, really like it. Loving Terror of the Master. I'm probably going to put my review out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, lo lo you know, absolutely lo loving it. This is just uh, it, it, nothing. I couldn't work out what I didn't like about it, other than it was boring. Haven't heard Plight of the Pimpernel yet. It's one of the things I've got to catch up on. Um, okay, more books. Uh, Eye on the Mask again. Once you put once you put it squarely in the current era, you're cutting out half your audience. I think, but I think half your audience are probably uh um <laughs> left anyway so yeah what difference what difference uh locked out oh my god god why do i not like the current doctor who uh exhibit a if you're not looking at, you know, at the screen look at your screen this is a professional product for the current doctor who that fits perfectly in yeah this is what the current doctor who is exactly Ugh. god it's awful uh crossword i tried to do the quiz last week and it was impenetrable right uh, fine, okay, here's an article which I like. I, I, I'm glad I have the subscription. It's only like you know, a couple of dollars a month. Um, yeah, in-depth thing about the, uh, um, uh, the, the, the Blu-ray, season eight Blu-ray. But I don't read that, I don't need that other like 10 page article on top of this. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look what the extras are, right? Um, last disc is, is, is always the best one. Katie Manning in conversation with Matthew Sweet. Yes, that'll be awesome. The other Blu-ray box sets have been fantastic with these interviews. You've had uh, Matthew Sweet interviewing Tom Baker, Philip Hinchcliffe, uh, was it Peter Davison, Nicola, was it Nicola Bryant? I can't remember, but uh, Katie Manning, I love it, love it. The direct room, uh, director Michael E. Barron and Graham Harper and Timothy Combe return filming locations. Like, yeah, it seems like be a bunch of old guys walking around uh, <laughs> old, you know, deserted castles. The direct room, bonus scene. Terrence and me, Frank Skinner meets family and friends of Terrence Dix. Yes, that's something I want to see. Panopticon Archive, John Pertwee. I, I was there. <laughs> I got that one. Uh, but I, I okay, fine. Um, the Daniel Vertica Archive, uh, Annick Wills, Richard Franklin, uh, Blue Peter Actor, a lot of Dodd, no idea. Blu ray, Return of the Autons. Blu ray trade, Return of the Autons. Yeah, that, again, they, that, that was a four or five page article about a couple of months ago. Uh, audio Archive, Doctor Who and the Hero of the Autons, read by Jeffrey Brevis. Audio. Okay. And then PDFs, I never read the PDFs. So let's see, the demons. What's the new features they have on the demons? Living with Levi, living with these, I want to remember Barry Letts. Uh, 
Repeat Omnibus Edition, Devil's Weekend. Okay, that that's the that documentary. That sounds interesting. Visual Effect, Peter Day interview, uh, Chronicle of the Chronicle the Sid, Silbury Dig. Okay, not much, not much, but you know that the original release is pretty good. That's it. That's it, really. Oh no, it's a two disc, a two disc release. Okay, fine. Uh, five episodes restored in HD. Okay. Uh, there's a, a commentary. Uh, Richard, Katie Manning, Richard Franklin, Damis Hyman, and Barry, uh, Christopher Barry. They will write that document. That was a good one. Uh, colorization test. Yeah, that was good. So, what's the new stuff? Behind the sofa, location film. And uh, never it looks as the poetry is. Yeah, I bought those in the day. They're kind of fun. Uh, five one on, on audio. Uh, audio. Yeah, I like that as well. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm up for all of this. Okay, so next, next disc is. Uh, Colony in Space. Is this a special edition as well? Existing special features. Uh, 2009 coloration on 1 to 6, coloring the floor. Yeah, yeah, it must be a two-disc uh, Colony in Space. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. So you got HD. Uh, commentary with Terrence Dix. That was good. Uh, Michael e. Bryant, Katie Manning, Graham Harder, Bernard K. and Morris Perry. I am CB needs you. That was a really fun. That's like a recruiting ad for the uh, uh, Intergalactic Mining Corporation. Uh, coming soon, the demons. I don't know why they got that there, but okay. Uh, so yeah, it's a documentary. New features behind the sofa, which I quite enjoy. I wonder, wonder if they're gonna have behind the sofa. But I oftentimes when I, when I want to watch a story, but I don't watch I watch the whole thing. I watch behind the sofa, so you get the whole thing in about half an hour. So there's a clause of access, four episodes HD. Uh, commentary, action stations. Um, now and then, episode two and three, two thousand five restoration. I have no idea what that means, but I must have it because I got them all. Uh, so behind the sofa, extended episode one, busy channels continuity. Okay, don't care. I mean, is this uh, Mind of Evil? I love Mind of Evil. It's a great story. Uh, good audio commentary on there. Uh, military Mind making documentary now and then. Uh, 1971 uh, television set of documentary coming soon. Clause of access. Um, behind the sofa, Blue Peter uh, visit to the makeup van. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, BBC South East feature. Visa Charles. Okay. And then, okay, behind the, so they got the audio commentary, Life on Earth Making of, Plastic Fantastic, uh, Doctors Moriarty, yeah, all, all those were good. Um, behind the Sofa, so yeah, got Katie Manning, St Stuart Bevan, okay, great, that's a good combination. Uh, Ashley Mahindra, Session of One, I say I'm a bit of a different guy uh, uh, about this uh, than most people. I like people from the current era. Uh, watching classic era Doctor Who and hearing what they think, especially Sasha Dewan and Angeli Moinder. Uh, uh, Sasha Dewan, especially, because he seemed to have a lot of respect for the character of the Master. Uh, Janet Fielding and Sarah Sutton, yeah, they're, they're always good. Um, same for me across all the episodes. 5 1 audio, you get 5 1 audio on two, that's good. on two stories, I think, that's good. Uh, updated effects, oh, yes, updated effects, I love the updated effects. Uh, clean titles, I'll be using that in my videos. Uh, fine, so yeah, okay, that's, uh, that, listen, that turned out to be more of a, uh, 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 and a, yeah, a review of, of the box set, which, when is it coming out? Uh, do they have, do they have the date yet here? It's, oh, they should have over here, was it coming out? It's supposed to be February, but let's wait and see. They've, every single one has been like, oh yeah, let's see, let's see what the, uh, here's the thing though, I can't work out which one's the original, which one is the, uh, uh, the new effect. <laughs> Let me try to look at that picture again. I think... I think that's the original, and this is the new effect, right? I think, I think. I can't tell, but that's not really a good sign. <laughs> you should, you, we have to see when it moves more. Uh, coming soon, Gallifrey Time War Volume 4. I'm out, Gallifrey Time War. I, I decided I'm kind of sick of paying money to hear Lala Ward huff and sigh and be imperious towards me while they do really kind of obnoxious and stupid uh, political uh, uh, allegories rather than uh, having a good story. Uh, so yeah, listen, I'm sorry I'm out. If they ever have them on sale, I might catch up, but uh, I just got bored. I just got, I got bored with the being beaten over the head with the dogmatic political figures. You know, I'm like, yeah, really? You think we don't know what you're saying? We all know what you're saying enough already. So yeah, this just, I'm one of the many, many listeners that they've lost with that. Uh, full Doctor Adventures, uh, vol uh, series two, volume, uh, series 10, volume two. Always excited, bit, bit of Full Doctor and Leela, love it. Answer this question. This quiz was impossible. Here, let's look look at the first answer. Okay, they're all the news. Yeah, you they, they listed five things. You got to say what's the similarity. And the five things were from the Nikolai uh, Nikolai Tesla's Night of Terror. Uh, who's going to remember that crap? Really, uh, nuns in the Ghost Monster. Who remembers Spearmint in uh, uh, Shakespeare Cove? Don't remember that. 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, it says, okay, fine. Um, then finally, blogs of doom. I never really read it. Never really read it. What's coming next week? Uh, in the, any hint of the current era? Oh, you got an interview with the guy playing the Lone Side Man. Again, gr good idea. Uh, good idea. Terribly, uh, terribly realised. Uh, Underworld Factor Fiction. Rebecca Trotman editing Ascension of the Sidemen. Which was Ascension of the Sidemen? Was that the... There was I don't know. Uh, it's coming out February 4th. Uh, February 4th. So there you go. That is the new Doctor Who magazine. Um, uh, Marcel. Marcel, very good. Liked a lot. New Doctor Who magazine. Great cover. Uh, is it worth your time? Is it worth your money? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, <laughs> if you want to buy audience... Probably not, is the answer. Uh, but listen, make your own mind up. Make your, I've shown you what's in it. Make your own mind up. Uh, listen, I would like Doctor Who magazine to continue. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, if, you, if you can buy it, that'd be great. <laughs> if not, I completely understand. My name is Fila Beckin, the other rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah.